we're going to show some of the stuff that we've been building at uh, Hike. Uh, how many of you have used Hike? Wow, that's good. <laughs> Uh, so, for those who have not used, you probably might know Hike is a messaging platform. Uh, we have 100 million users that use the platform. Uh, we have a 40 billion uh, messages per month kind of uh, transaction going through the system. Uh, so, and obviously we support uh, all platforms, Windows, iOS, and Android. Android being the biggest market in India. So, we have a pretty strong uh, user base on Android. So for an application of this scale, which is running at uh, you know 100 million users and supporting all kinds of devices, what are some of the typical challenges you would anticipate in this kind of an application? So scalability is one challenge for sure, right? Then we talk about the cross-platform, especially with the fragmentation in Android. That could be a pretty challenging thing. Uh, plus a large base, uh, large user base that we have ends up using like a very l wide variety of phones and a lot of them also tend to be on the lower end of the market phones, right? Uh, so when you have lower end market phones, uh, one of the typical challenges you will see is performance related issues, but also in general the overall experience of the app might not be as great, right? So we've done a lot of interesting tweaks to make that as fast as possible, plus uh, network. Right, that's another uh, aspect that kicks in. Right, like majority of the people still e end up using 2G network in India. Right, so you want this kind of a messaging app which allows you to send uh, files, videos, images, all kinds of things to work seamlessly on a 2G network without breaking any functionality. So now let's imagine you are in charge of testing this app. Right. What kind of uh, things you would do? Uh, we used to follow a 15-day uh, cycle uh, into shipping into production. Now we moved it to a 30-day cycle, predominantly because we realized that our consumers are not going to pull a new version every 15 days. So we actually moved to a 30-day cycle to adjust to what our consumer is. But we had a pretty short uh, release cycle. And so if you're releasing every 15 days, right? what are the kind of things that you need to make sure from a testing point of view, and it, I'm sure it's pretty obvious that you can't do this manually, right? Considering the number of functionality that we have, the different kinds of phones that we need to support, uh, and if you want to be shipping into production every 15 days, it's almost impractical to try and do this manually, right? So Vivek and I am going to talk about uh, some of the things and also demonstrate how we've actually gone about trying to do these tests. Uh, we've just had...